Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about interviews. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how does it feel when you hit the interview out of the park? Well, if I ever do, I will let you know how it feels. Usually I don't have... Uh, I don't really know how I mean it feels good like I mean I've had interviews where it felt really good having the conversation it's usually not it's it's usually not that difficult for me to to have a good interview if that makes sense so uh, the interviews that I usually the problem is that I have I, I always get very nervous in a, like these sorts of testing situations and I make so many mistakes in the code tests and stuff like that. I, oh, I know I do and uh, I usually do better with the coding interviews where it's sort of like it might not be a diehard lead code question type of thing. I mean I can solve those sorts of problems but I you know usually the extra performance anxiety it gets to me. It's something that I try to work on and so you I mean I haven't done a few any exercises in a quite a while, but the like the sometimes I do some algorithmic questions on lead code or similar sort of platforms just because it's fun, and when I do it that like that, usually you know depending on the complexity of the problem, it's fun to sit there for a few hours and hack away at something, or like if it's a simple one, it might just take a few minutes, and the really hard ones are like yeah, you just sit there and go yep, I'm too dumb for this, but when it comes to interviews and so forth, I have a tendency to always be a little bit, oh, especially if you really want the job, oh shit did I really, you know, make sure that I had named all my variables right it does everything, you know, all of these sorts of things, right And this, uh, but when it comes to, like, speech this is actually one of those things uh, I said a while back, uh, when I was trying to sort of explain to you guys that if you wanted to improve your overall comfort as a software developer and so forth uh, one part of it is absolutely to learn like and become like a really good software developer but you shouldn't underestimate that the exposure to an environment is very important that's why I tell people that it's more important if you say if I got a question just the other day how you improve your people skills and I'm gonna make a video about that as well and the short answer is exposure exposure gives you comfort and so these little videos that I have have made it fairly uh, like I mean I don't really feel like I've ever had an issue talking all that much but it does help with the comfort expressing yourself and so forth so when I have a uh, an interview with a company like I mean I've done at least now I would say a hundred different interviews with candidates from all kinds of like everything from juniors all and like uh, uh, trainees program uh, developers all the way up to the most seniors of seniors and like architects and engineering managers and so forth and so forth. So I've interviewed basically anybody, everybody on the spectrum and everything in there between. So I have a frame of reference where I know that practically any personal interview that I can have with any company, basically, I will eat. I will, I will crush it completely. Crush it. It's uh, because my the thing that I usually do really well is to express myself and sort of talk about my passion and so forth. It's why I make this this, cha this channel and why there is no script. I swear to you, there is. I can, I'm just not. Just, I'm guessing that you figured that out. Nothing I say is scripted. It's and there's one take. And since the, you haven't stopped watching just yet, maybe I'm doing a good job. I really don't know. I don't really watch how many subscribers I have and so forth, so forth. But that is something that I do really well. So usually that's the thing that I always find most enjoyable. If I send, if I get to send in the test first, and they said that yeah, it was a good test and so forth, and I feel like yeah, I passed that part. As long as I know that I passed that and I get to the conversation and I usually go home with a lot of personal energy like uh, it feels good to have especially the, because that's where really the thing that is important to me where if I 
get energy from having an interview, it's really on the other person's side. It's something that's a learning that I suggest to you to keep with you as well, where uh, when you do personal interviews, uh, I've found that if I talk to someone who's like the interviewer has a lot of positive energy and is relaxed and has a passion for software development, I feel it's almost like it gives me energy to talk to such a person. I get excited about that. And I've told my managers about this. I said that if you want to get the best of the best software developers, uh, you of course you have to pay them well and so forth and so forth. But it's also really important for you to make them feel as this place of work has some really fun, cool people, and like it's a general good vibe uh, of the people there. So if you put your most like socially inept or um, like boring people, or like you people who don't really care about software development, as the people who are conducting the interview, you might actually give people a really bad impression of the, towards like to the candidate itself, uh, to to the, to the candidate, right? So I don't really suggest you do that. I suggest, as I said, have people who know how to have a really fun, rewarding conversation about software. And usually both parties feel extra good about that. I mean, you think about it yourself. Usually, I think that you can agree with that having a really rewarding conversation with someone, it gives you energy and it almost makes you a little bit happy. At least that's what happens for me. So what I want you to take away from this is that the times I nail an interview, uh, it feels pretty good. I usually have extra energy. It's uh, better than coffee. That's a good description. And it's usually down to, as I said, that uh, you have a really rewarding exchange with someone in the company. I usually get really nervous about my test results and so forth, even though I, it's silly, I know it's silly, but you want to make things perfect because you want to people to see that yeah yeah this is a really good candidate and I don't know why I do it that way because I have I have reviewed so many code tests now like hundreds and I know what the average level of a software developer is for most companies and some companies are really really strict and some companies are like shit if you can declare a variable they will take you to a personal interview. So I know that by most standards, just being able to produce something that is sort of working is usually enough to make it to the next level for the average company and so forth. But I still get that performance anxiety. It's the same thing that happens with me, happened with me all the time in school. It's never going to go away, I think. But after that comes usually the personal interview. And I really enjoy talking to people about software. Uh, so if, if I have a lot of positive energy coming out of that interview, it's really down to who do I who do you, who do I get to talk to. If I go and talk to some sleepy so software developer who couldn't care less about their job or their their craft, uh, it it's like basically guaranteed that I'm not going to work there, and it I've, makes me feel like shit. I've had a few of those, but the times I get to talk to someone who's really into it and can nerd out a little bit with me, it feels like the best thing in the world. It's uh, it's like it's Friday and I have a pizza and a good movie with some friends or something like that. That's how it feels. It's just a general good vibe I have for the rest of the day. Have a great day.